everybody. Welcome back to Lyrical Resonance, where we believe that where words fail, music speaks. I'm excited today. I've been meaning to do a video for this band for a very long time. This is American Arson and their song, Unbreakable. Uh, if you don't know who this band is, you are doing yourself a disservice by not getting into their music. The, these guys are super great. There's two guys, um, Jesse Gentry and Evan Baker you guys that's it and their music is amazing and their sound is big and loud um very punk and hardcore influenced and just so good um but more more than just their musical styling being good they lyrically are one of my favorite bands around right now they're very i honestly their album line in the sand which this song is taken from is one of the most important albums for christians to have come out in the last several years i mean you have to check it out it is just worth every bit of your time to do so really now if this is your first time here at this channel thank you so much for watching number one super happy to have you along the ride with us um, if this is your first time here's what we typically do we'll listen i comment on the lyrics and stuff that stands out um we are christian here at this channel or at least i am uh, not all of the people who follow this channel are and that's okay um, but i'm a christian and so a lot of what i talk about is christian based and and yeah anyway that's what we do here i'm excited so if that sounds interesting to you i'd ask you and invite you to hit that subscribe button because where words fail music does speak and we're going to be here continuously checking out what the music has to say so let's get into this this is unbreakable by american arson So already I love this song, man. The energy in it is amazing. And this dude's voice, man, crazy, crazy good. I love it so much. And he has almost like a Jesse Leach uh, uh, sound to the way he sings. It's, it's just really, really good. And I love that already. The drums in this, nuts, absolutely nuts. Sorry, I know we're only like 50 seconds in, but I had to get that out of the way. that melody that the guitar was playing there that rhythm or, or lead there it is lead that he was playing there just that really is really cool that um i just i like the way it flowed man that structure was really cool and then those those lyrics in the chorus man um the sky may crack the sun may fade away but i'm gonna stay unbreakable <sighs> we'll talk about that a little more but man that line hits so hard so hard some slick editing there with every like hit 
they changed. That was that was really slick editing. Such a fun, like rhythm they had going there, just sounded so good. And man, his his vocals in that second verse this sounded so good. If you didn't hear Jesse Leach in that, maybe I'm way off on it, but to me that that sounded very similar, <laughs> very very similar, which is a good thing. I, I want to add. I I would I mean that in in the kindest way possible. <laughs> That is a song I will continuously go back to and is I'm only going to give it a 9 out of 10 simply because I feel like it's too short and it just I, I need more of that man that was so good two two verses and two three courses or however however many I think three um yeah I just I needed I needed a little more man so it, it it's so close to getting a 10 out of 10 but I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 such a good song I love the music in it. I love the vocals. Everything about it is just so stinking good, man. Um, ugh, I just, I just love it. I love it. Okay, what can I, what can I say? Uh, lyrically too, I really enjoy this. Um, this idea of being unbreakable. Um, I think that is really interesting from a Christian perspective. Um, just this idea that we're invincible. And so so many people, I think, want to be invincible and like to maybe think they are. Um, but man, I, I take this from a point of, and I, I, I have no idea, I have not talked to these guys about like what their intent behind the song was or how you know what they meant as they wrote it or sing it i'm just taking this purely from my own perspective here um but i'm thinking the of this in terms of like the temptations we struggle with and the the, the sin that tries to trip us up um like this is just interesting to me um like in the course lately i felt those apparitions try to take me but i know when you wrap your love around me, the sky might crack, the sun may fade away, but I'm going to stay unbreakable. And you could you could take this and you could even just apply it to like fears of a, an uncertainty and and whatnot. But I, you know, looking at it from like a sin perspective and our our temptations and the things we struggle with, like I could see those as like apparitions, kind of you know thinking it in the in those terms metaphorically, where we struggle and we have the thing we're like okay here it is again like I, i'm gonna i'm struggling with this what how do i you know i gotta fight it um and if we if we take it even in terms of like our fear and our uncertainty thinking about well what about this what if what if this happens what if that what if what if what if and our anxiety and our 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 paranoia sometimes bites us and and comes to try and take us down and freak us out and, and make us want to just hide in a corner and go away what this is saying, you know, when, when you wrap your love around me, talking to God, when you wrap your love around me, the sky could crack, the earth, the sun might fade away, but I'm still unbreakable because of your love, because of you. And, and this is just, man, it's so 
so beautiful to really think about, you know? And I really liked the second verse. I feel it coming again. I feel it coming again. I drew a line in the sand. I'm not backing down. I'm not moving. This was so cool because it's, you know, we think about these things where we have to take a stand on. Like it's, it's not okay to just be passive in our faith. We can't just not take a stand on something. Like if there's something that is super clear and should be spoken out against, we have to take a stand on it. We can't not. And even taking it from less broad as that to more personal, when we have a sin that trips us up, a fear that holds us back or something, we have got to at some point draw a line in the sand and say, you know what, enough. I'm done. I'm moving on and I'm going to take some, I'm going to fight. At this point, this is this is def defense you know, or, or less defense, more offense, where I'm taking the fight to it. I'm looking it in the face and I'm saying, no more. You don't own me. You don't get to do this. God's got his love wrapped around me. And I know with him, you can take a shot, but you ain't breaking me. I mean, I, I would liken this almost to the, the same in heart, if nothing else, as uh, disciples, dear ex, you don't own me, where it's, you can take a shot at me. You can, you can try and take me down. You can try and break me and hurt me. But guess what? you ain't taking me down. <laughs> you ain't going to hurt me. You can't actually do anything. And so, man, this is, if nothing else, the lyrics of the song will get your brain moving. And this is what I mean by American Arson and their album, Line in the Sand. It's just, holy smokes, it's such an important album to listen to because it speaks to some of these things. Like, man, it, it's it's speaking to, it speaks to a lot of things I have been internally working through my own faith and walking with God on it. And so it's just, man, I love this, love this band, love this album. Uh, this is probably, I know it's still only September. And so there's still three months of the year to go, but this is probably going to be my number one album of 2020. Just so good, man. Such a good, good album that is so needed. We need it so badly. And I could not encourage you more to go get that album, buy it, download it, save it on Apple Music or, or Spotify or, or whatever you got to do, but get this album because it is so good and so needed. Okay, I'm done fanboying for now. <laughs> um, really good. Uh, like I said, 9 out of 10, spot on song. But you know what you have to do now. I need to hear from you. What do you think about this song on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being terrible and 10 being amazing. Where do you rank this song? I'm interested. I want to know. If there's a song you would like me to check out, let me know. Leave a comment. Find me on Facebook at Lyrical Resonance. Or send me an email. Uh, Lyrical.resonance.ia at gmail.com. Send me an email with a song request. I'll get to it. I've got a list that I'm working through. Um... Man, this was fun. Again, if this was your first time here, thank you so much for watching. And all of you who have been here for a while, thank you for watching. I, I'm super happy to have all of you on board with me here. Um, for those of you who are new, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button because where words fail, music speaks, and we're going to continue listening to what the music has to say. But until our next video, as always, stay safe and be blessed. We'll see you soon.